three, two, one. Activate. Oh shit! Why me? Okay, okay, okay. Weapon. Shit, shit, shit. Your axe is a bit vicious, isn't it? No, 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 no. Oh, my blade stop. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> stop it! Stop it! Okay. Okay. Oh, I'm waiting in the corner. Waiting in the corner. Get out of the corner. Get out of the corner. This axe I put on the back is useless. Oh, I'm gonna get you bits. Exposed bits. Oh, I can come off. Oh shit. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, no. Yes. One bit off. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> And oh, side bit, side bit, side bit. Oh, it's Ali Rina. You seem to have stopped. Yeah. You've stalled everything. Oh, oh, we thought you were out there. Ref, what was counting? Ref, what was counting? Oh no, 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 no. wedge. Uh, oh, your wheels are spinning. Yeah, Woo! victory is mine. Cease. Welcome everybody to the Robot Wars Arena. The new Robot Wars Arena from the new, now cancelled, series. Hexbugs, who previously made the BattleBots ones that I've shown off on this channel before. There's Tombstone and there's Witch Doctor. I think they've actually released another one, but I can't get my hands on it for some reason. Uh, and comes with these little controllers here, have released Robot Wars ones. Because we had the BattleBots Arena before, we have this Robot Wars Arena now which is much nicer put together, and it's the same little controls and stuff. So it's the same sort of robots, you can battle them all together, which is just great fun. Little portable robots. Um, they've got little breakaway side bits on these ones. So if you have, whoop, you clip these on here like this, and they're sort of held on with, show you that there closer. They're held on with magnets, so they're pretty on there, but they, you know, they take a little bit of a power to come off, and then when both come off, then you are the loser. Uh, and they're, not, they're, they're good little bits. Now, see, they're only on the side on these ones. The back thing is a gap, and you can put stuff on it. So I could stick, like, say, a big frickin' great murder axe on the back of this guy. So the reason you don't recognize who the fuck these two robots are is because they're just sort of generic robots that you can customize yourselves for the Robot Wars one, which I kind of like. So on this guy here, the same thing, the side panels, which I've already pulled off in battle with my glorious victory. Uh, sit on the side, and then the front and the back are much more sturdy, much more to prone to battle, and then you can just pull them off and swap them out for anything that you want. Uh, you can even actually take these whole top sections off. There's a way of releasing these whole top bits, so you can actually swap weapons over as well. Now, I've only got these two weapons here, so there's no point in doing that right now, but I think that's a really neat thing. I like they've gone for a bit more of a customised thing. I would have loved to have a little remote-controlled Razor or Chaos 2, or any, really, any Thermidor, you know, any of the classic guys. But I do like that you get to customize your own ones and then enter robot combat with them. So unlike these ones, see these ones had various, because they were like specially designed, had various bits where they came off. So Witch Doctor had the side bits that would come off and then the whole top section would be flung off showing the glorious, beautiful insides. Uh, these ones just have the side bits. So, so it, you get quicker battles and things with it. Especially this boy versus this boy, that's not a battle that lasts very long. And they, because you have four champ, Steady! <laughs> because you have, um, uh, as you can see on the controller there, four at the bottom, four different things, you can actually play four player battles. Which I think is really neat. Uh, I think we should have a rematch. So who do you want to play as? Pick your robot now. Rebecca, not audience watching this. Who do you want to play as? Pick. You got a quick pick quickly. Well, I like. I like this one. You going for Axie Boy? All right, you get Axie Boy. I'm gonna play as Matilda. That's not fair. That's not fair. <laughs> Before battle commences, like to point out, it also came with the robots. One came with some stickers, so you can customize. You can actually customize and design your robots with stickers and things, which is cute. Okay, are you ready? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Super confident. In three, two, one, activate. Spinner on! Oh, one piece off already! Go for a flip and the flip has been successful! <laughs> well, oh, 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 robot, rogue robot, rogue robot! <sighs> I mean, you can't beat Matilda because Matilda has nothing that comes off. However, how fucking cool is it that there's a little remote control Matilda? Super cool. 
<laughs> oh shit. Yes! Anyway, I love these as much as they are. They're, they're... Hang on. Stop! Stop acting for a little bit. There you go. You gotta make sure the little IR receiver can see them. So it's best played if you're above them. Um, but yeah, I love these. I think the, uh... Let's just turn them off. I think the set was uh, 80 pounds, which gave you the arena, these two robots, the controllers, batteries, and everything that came with it. And Matilda by herself, I think I got it for 35 pounds. So a little expensive, but to do robot combat in your own, like anywhere the fuck you want, I think that's a really cool thing. And you can buy these sort of by yourself. You don't actually need to buy the arenas and stuff, but um, they're really cool. I fucking love them. They make me happy. What do you think? I think they're great. I think they're great. The end. I mean, cease.